Hello everyone, welcome back to Indiana Kayak Fishing Journal. Today is June the 18th. I am out actually at the Hosey Dam on the Maumee River in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, this dam was actually constructed as flood control and then a hydroelectric dam. Um, it has not provided any power in a long, long, long time and it really doesn't do much for flood control. Really what they use it for nowadays is they actually just uh, use this to control the water level behind the dam so that people can boat and the city of Fort Wayne looks a little bit nicer right in downtown. So what I'm uh, looking for is I'm actually up here on the bridge that's right by the dam and I'm looking for long nose gar today. And that's what I'm gonna be fishing for today is long nose gar. Um, I've actually spotted a couple from the bridge up here that keep porpoising around this area. So I'm gonna get down there and uh, see if I can get some fish. Stay tuned. There we go. I got one. No. Ah. Oh, dang it. in the boat. Yeah. Little guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> These things are strong. Holy cow. Just being a little guy. Now we're getting somewhere. We are. Now we're getting somewhere. Figuring it out. So it looks like a little smaller fly is gonna be better. Need a little smaller, a little longer. And then you really gotta let them take it for a minute. Shake their head, as soon as they shake their head, it's over for them. So this is the fly I've been using today. Um, all it is is uh, like a split ring that I would use for musky fishing. And then I zip tied a piece of nylon rope onto it and then you just fray that rope out and then just comb the rope out to try to get it as fine as possible. And that's what's catching those fish. It actually wasn't as hard to get them unhooked as I thought it would be, so that's awesome. Um, that makes it even more fun. I was really worried that they were gonna be very, very difficult to get untangled from this rope. Uh, but even the worst ones weren't really that bad. It took me a minute or two to get them done and get them off of that, but it wasn't really that bad. <laughs> There's another one. First cast. Gar Wrangler. It's a little guy compared to that last one I caught. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was fast. <laughs> I let that one go and another one jumped right where I threw it in at. That's nuts. These things are everywhere. There's a good one. It's a big one here. It's a good one. <laughs> good fish. Awesome. Awesome, man. This thing's fighting. On this six weight, man, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Taking line, oh yeah. That's a nice one compared to the other ones I caught. Woo woo! Oh, big old car. That is definitely my PB long nose gar. That's a good fish. Definitely a good fish. Tough fish to hang on to, that's for sure. These long nose are super slippery. Look at the teeth in that thing. That is nuts. That is a bizarre fish. All right, let's get this guy on his way, shall we? Whew. Boy, they are strong. They are a nice, strong fish, that's for damn sure. Well, pretty cool trip. I only had a few hours to dig around down here tonight. Um, I learned a lot about what I'm doing. I ended up landing four long nose gar. Um, and I had a chance at a bunch of other ones too. I just, every time they would strike, I would instantly go to set the hook just because that's what I'm programmed to do from all my other fishing. But you have to wait and let them kind of take the rope fly and kind of work at it a little bit, give them time and then just kind of come tight on them. And, Every time I tried to set the hook, it would just pop the fly right out of the fish's mouth. Um, pretty cool, it was kind of interesting trying to get them to strike. I had a lot of fish that would just be interested enough to like follow it, but they wouldn't actually strike at it. So I'm not really sure what that's about. I might have to try a couple of different styles of this fly um, just to see what works best and kind of try to get it dialed in. Definitely a lot of fun. That big fish fought, fought really hard and gave me an impressive battle. That was really cool. Uh, and there were some other ones that were that size around here today too. 
Um, so if I can get a few more of those, man, this is gonna be really, really fun, especially on this six weight fly rod. It's a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, shares these videos. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.